since patch 1.79 or project x has dropped on the live server it's been a really good patch it's brought a lot of new tanks a lot of new vehicles a lot of new aircraft well more tanks than aircraft rounds that can penetrate 550 millimeters it brought the germans the leopard 2a4 so they can rejoice and do naughty things when they turn the computer anyways it was a good patch it's been a good patch a lot of new shiny items to get distracted on new weapon systems the squeeze bore the frit x fritz x but one thing that i think that they've done maybe two things but it kind of goes into one category that has made this patch one of the better patches or maybe arguably the best patch in about a year and a half and that is one removing the p47 air spawn because what that did is it kind of countered what war thunder was all about war thunder is about so many different aircraft so many different abilities all into one game mode and when the p47 was at its height there was no other planes to really fly you would either fly a p47 and join it or you would just be cannon fodder so them removing and buffing some brs etc was one of the biggest moves possible and then the icing on top of this cake of project x is that i'm sure a lot of you guys know this but i finally got around to it i sat down for about three to four hours last night and played myself and had a ball with the falk wolf 190 a-5 u12 that has cannons and i only i only use two cannons two mg 151s for four hours and i didn't have a spark so without further ado just to show you guys we're gonna be playing my fog with 190 unfortunately my i mean pretty sick camo right they don't allow me to do this in game anymore so this used to be old school like 2014 maybe a little bit into 15 2014 camo decals you could stretch them this big and make your aircraft look like this this is my butcher bird and we're about to go um well do that here we go guys oh and also i forgot to mention they reworked the focke wolf's flight models to where it actually has a tail now so not only does it have a good roll rate it has a decent elevator so when you do counter you know or counter fly you can actually get back on target hopefully quick enough to get your guns there all right so we're just really high right now and uh Look at all, why, why am I so, that 51 looks nice. So we're going to idle here. We don't want to be going past around, I don't know, let's say 700 ish. Cause then we start to lock up. Our rudder does not like us. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Isn't that just nice, guys? Back up we go. One kill already down. Now, there is a P-47 up. But I'm going to use a little more of my energy up and get over this cesspool that... Oh, we, we got to burn there now. This might be a bad decision because we might get ganked by that 47 later in the game. But hopefully, that 109 can cover us here. Let's pop those landing flaps. The takeoff flaps on these things don't like to rip. They don't. For some reason, uh, you can pull them out at some pretty decent uh, air speeds. Okay, so the P-47 pushed the uh, 109 down. I kind of should have stayed up there, but at the same time, that Spitfire was just too tempting. Okay, another Spitfire potentially. Yep, let's go for this guy. And the thing is that, yeah, we don't we don't have air superiority, but what we're going to win this game is the numbers. Okay, should we cut in front? I'm trying to lock up here a little bit. Yeah, there goes our lock. Okay, nope, we're off. No worries. Nice, low-level disengage. Very hard to get on target right now. Up we go. So usually, oh, you're dead. Oh, wow, no one just died right there. Usually on my dives, I like to kind of be around 500, maybe 490 before I dive, just so I have that level of maneuverability. In. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Focke Wolf. He's on fire. God darn it.
That was almost awesome. That Spitfire's out of the fight, though. And we, and we didn't get much time on target on him as well. He's out of the fight. He can't turn. We will get a kill assist for this. I didn't know he was coming at me until the last second. Yeah, really, really enjoyable, guys. Now that P-47 has done his homework, he's earned that spot. I don't know where our team went, though. Honestly, we had a huge advantage. We were all high. No, but the thing is, if he wants to dive on this 109, though, that'd be nice. But I don't think it's going to happen because he's going to be on me. We're going to see if we can cut off his angle as much as possible. Let's try a head-on, guys. Huh? Let's see how this works. I haven't tried a head-on with cannons yet. Oh, jeez. Well, okay, we just read him a little bit, I think, right there. P-47's on fire. 109's flat spinning out. Both should die here. Now, if you see a plane like this, guys, just, just hawk near him. No need to engage. The 109... Um, there we go. The 109 did the hard part. Okay, we're back. I don't know if we'll get air superiority. We kind of side-climbed a little bit to get higher than these Spitfires. At the same time, we're going to go after numbers and not air superiority if there's only one person up there. There's two, though, so let's see if we can get one of them down, and then we can start working for the bottom. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's see what this 109 is going to do, because we will definitely uh, relieve his tail. Oh, nice. Okay, 109 got the Spitty on fire. He might get jumped by this XP-50. This XP-50 is going to have a little bit more energy than me as he dove from probably about another kilometer above me. Or half a kilometer. And, um... Here we go. Okay, on fire. He got killed, and there's one more left. One more left. Here we go. Let's not neg out. Flaps. See the, see the takeoff flaps right there? Pretty nice, huh? Uh, once, w once we're on target, boys, I'm telling you. This is how, like, ARB used to be. Now, here comes the bomber test. Oh, this guy ain't gonna last too long. Let's let's let let's just get some shots in right now. Good job, boys. Good job. Let's pull off. Line hunt activated. Somebody attack him. Oh, okay. Here we go. We gotta kill a bomber. Let's get a, a nice climb going on. Looks like he's heading to this bombing point over here, so we'll just climb. Uh, we'll actually climb at a pretty sharp angle. Just so we don't gain too much distance on the map. Now, the Halifax has decent armament. The perfect situation is for us to be above the target, but we'll, we'll see how this goes right here. Airspeed is king. We need airspeed to get out of harm's way in case we get to a bad situation. We're going to let our machine guns fly at about maybe 0.9 kilometers away. Strike the left wing here. Left wing destroyed. 
Oh, come on, buddy. Relax. Come on. Get out of here. God damn it. He was shooting. He was shoulder shooting at a kilometer away from me. We're still good, though. Oh, maybe not. Hang on. Okay. The good thing is, if the game was going on, we would have been able to pull out. Our left wing was just completely demolished by a friendly. Whoa. Did you guys hear that, huh? And maybe you saw it? We have someone hawking in these clouds for me, I believe. Is that him right there? Yeah, look at this. I think I still see him. I don't know. No, this is too low. Is he diving on this guy? I really don't like... Oh, I despise maps with just a full level overcast to like 5,000 meters. We're gonna help this G55 out. Yeah, that was his pit fire that I saw. We're gonna lose a lot of altitude in this maneuver though. We go p47 in the clouds i really want to go down you know what guys i'm gonna be selfish i'm gonna be selfish we're gonna go down here and get rid of the typhoon the spitfire the p47 At the same time the typhoon is tracking that g55 is yes and there goes a bait that i rarely see oh. i never get baits like that that G55 pretty much baited two of my... Oh my goodness, baloney. No, 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 no. I'm not that stupid. You guys can have him. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. The G55 just shredded that feller. We still have a 47 up high, but I'm not too worried about it. We're going to be able to catch the Spitfire here. And actually, we're going to remove our altitude to get him. We won't increase by that much airspeed, but we'll definitely be able to... Hang on, actually, the fog was in front of us. Whoa, 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 someone's behind me. BTD! BTD! Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, shit. That guy's flying quick, too. No, no, no. Pull out of that. Now, we will be able to out... Or stall climb with this guy for sure. No, the camera doesn't fuck me here. Plenty flaps. Hold fire. Wings off. Wings off. We'll see who uh, who can pull out of. Oh, that guy is. I don't. You know what? That uh, BTD is still flying with the wing off. P forty seven coming in for us. We're gonna go for a climb here. Pull the engine off a little bit. Ooh, no, 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 no. Someone's around me. I don't know where. We're gonna go help this uh, P63. Well, not help him, kill him. Gotta keep an eye out for that. Um, ooh, nice job, 109, P47 down. We gotta watch out for this other uh, French one, uh, 190. I don't need that right now. There goes the oil leak. Oh, I tried to... Can we get on target? Flaps out. Good 
good shooting, dude. Good shooting. I always hope you have enjoyed this video. Some good wins, a good loss. Overall, really enjoyable time with the buffed cannons in War of Thunder. If you guys haven't played ARB for a while, I highly suggest you take it back out. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of like what it used to be like. It really is. And with that said, it's the way it should be. It's the way it should be in War of Thunder. Guys, again, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Peace out.